Oh, man. So, I'm freaking uh, after the fight, everybody come back to my room. And my sister uh, was crying. I'm like, what is wrong with you? You're such a wuss. Who do you listen to when training? I listen to all kind of music. You know, for this camp, it was a lot of Tina Turner, um, Coily Ray, 50 Cent, a lot of gospel. I love Tamla Man. I do. I love her voice. I hope they add and made to it. What? Can we go live for one minute so I can say hi? I don't really like going live with people. Because I got... Yeah. I got scarred one time. In that prime, who would you fight? Ann Wolf or Layla Ali? I, de I definitely would love to fight both of them in their prime if I had the opportunity to. And that's no disrespect to both of them. I would really uh, love to fight Layla because I think she'd be easier to beat than... And Wolf, but also I want to turn down the challenge from Ann Wolf, though, because I love challenges and to see who would come out on top with that fight. Any in my MMA fighters that you would want to call out? Nope. Female Mike Tyson. <laughs> Appreciate that for sure. Which win meant the most to you? It's crazy. So, my second Olympic gold medal was like the highlight of my life. And that was probably like the happiest day of my life. But then when I won the MMA fight, I felt those kind of same emotions. Which was so weird. Because it's like, it's just an MMA debut. But I think like me switching over to a whole other sport and having so much against me made me feel that way so yeah, i definitely had an out-of-body experience and uh it was it was great to experience for sure yeah and wolf a killer man she a killer right now are you still boxing or mma only now i'm still boxing i have a boxing match for the end of the year um another mma match too so yeah, I'm, I'm still doing both. I ain't just gonna give up one. Your jeans and your dentist deserves a shout out. My dentist needs to come fix one of my fucking teeth. So we good. I appreciate her for getting me together, but yeah, one of my veneers came out and I want to get it fixed, but I ain't been in contact with her. How do you feel about a Amanda Nunez fight after your first MMA fight? Why? Why do people look? Did I? Did, did, did I look that great to where people should be comparing me to Amanda Nunes? That's that's just a question. I'm asking y'all because I didn't feel like I looked that great to nobody to be comparing Amanda Nunes to me, and I don't think that Amanda Nunes should even be looking at me as competition right now because I just had my first MMA fight. If she's smart though, she would want to fight me early in my career, you know, like right now or next year, you know, like. That would be something that would be smart on her end, you know, because I'm inexperienced and she's still to be ahead of me. But once three, you know, three years, four years of uh, of experience, then we can start talking about a fight with Amanda Nunes. But not right now. Not right now. And that's me being respectful of her and of, and of her greatness, you know. But, you know, I'm taking it one fight at a time. I'm fighting girls who are on my level and work my way up. But just know that um, I am looking at the girls who are at the top, you know what I'm saying? But I'm about to... I'm about to get dangerous. Like, I'm dangerous now, but I'm about to get dangerous to where people going to be like, we don't even want to take her down because she going to beat us on the ground. And they already don't want to stand up with me. So, yeah. I'm about to, I'm definitely about to get right back to it. Ellie said back, you would smash her. <laughs> Ellie, stop. I would not smash Amanda Nunez in an MMA match. Not right now, but a couple years. People gonna make sure she stay the fuck away from me.